recording. Which was the one with the crap? Uh, the large, uh, the small one. Yep. Okay. All good? Yep. Okay. So, we're talking about crack testing. There's four methods in the syllabus. There's diapenetrant, there's ultrasonic, there's mag particle, and there's x-ray. Four methods of non-destructive testing. This is diapenetrant. Um, it's just a standard test kit you can buy at any industrial hardware supplier. As you can see, it's almost idiot proof. Step one, two, three, four. Step one is a pre-cleaner, normally not used. But because we're doing something for HSC, here is a pre-cleaner that I did not need to use. What it's doing is, obviously you can't smell it, but it's an incredibly um, highly um, volatile solvent. And There. So that's cleaned up the crack, it's just removed any surface oils and surface greases. Second step, you can see it here, this is the dye penetrant. This is an incredibly runny oil based dye. You can see where the pre-cleaner, can you see where the oil was still on the symbol? Some parts of it, there's oil left behind, other parts it's gone. Take the dye off the table, there you go. So, I'm just going to let that soak in. Like so. There we go, the boss will wonder what's, how I cut myself later. <laughs> and then we've just got to let that soak in for um, 60 seconds, 2 minutes, thereabouts. So that's the dye, dye penetrant. The dye is penetrating right now into the cracks through capillary action. The cracks are really, really fine. So fine you can't see them with the naked eye. On this there is definitely one major crack. Can you zoom in on that one if you don't mind, please? I know we will see a crack, but how far will that one go in? A lot further than what we're looking at. That'll do. Step, th step three. Remover. There we go. What die on the what die on the school table? You don't want too much remover on this, but you do need obviously a bit. So the dye in this time I've been talking has soaked into the cracks. Ideally I'd want to leave it for 5 to 10 minutes to really soak in, but time wise for the video, we stop now. Right. This is powdered chalk, there it goes, so this is chalk in a spray can. The dye's soaked in, so I'm just going 30 seconds. Um, the dye has soaked in. There's not a lot of dye. I'm going to spray the surface with chalk. The bright red dye gets soaked up into the chalk layer, but you don't want a thick layer of chalk. You just got to put on the minimum possible. That's enough. And then we'll just wait for it to dry. That's the developer. As you can see, if you could zoom in on this one, you can see the crack there. As the chalk's drying, it's starting to draw out the developer. It's showing us there's another crack here on the edge just there that it's picked up that we couldn't see with the naked eye. It's showing, see the cracks on the inside? There's two cracks on the inside of the symbol. Die penetrant. We could see the one crack on that symbol, but there's actually five. Can you see on the inside of the boss, there's three cracks on the inside that the die penetrant has picked up? 
you can see one there, two, three. I'll just draw an arrow in to show you. And then there's another one over here, just drawing in the chalk. So that's found five cracks in that symbol. That's where dye penetrants used, that's what the dye penetrant test is.